Hi everybody, and welcome to Full Stop. Once again, I'm your host, Sports and Speedruns, and it's good to be back here today. It's been too long. But yes, today we are back again with Full Stop. Today, of course, as you can probably tell, we're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, I haven't touched this game in a while, but it's good to be back. And yes, I got my pizza at the ready, I got my drink at the ready, which by the way, Todd, thank you for the sub again. I'm gonna take a sip of my sip of my drink. I know you did do a hydrate. There you go. Okay, folks. Well, why don't we get right into it? As you can tell, again, Mario Kart 8. And uh, today is different. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I guess today's kind of an off day, even though I could have played Super Mario 64. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, and ugh, stupid stick drift. I forgot about it. Um, but why don't we, why don't we, why don't we get this, uh, set up first? Uh, I guess that, stupid, this is going to take a sec, uh, this is just great. There we go, okay, let's get right into this online play, we're gonna set up attorney, and we're gonna get right into it. Let's see if I can time this right, there you go, create me a tournament, alright folks. Let's create a tournament. I'm going to pop it in the Discord as well. Uh, of course, we're going to be Luigi. Of course. Going to enter a name. Uh, I am going to... I might type this out on my... Uh, hmm. Sorry. Hmm. And I might switch over from here. Never mind. Get to for a little longer. Okay, Ted. I'm Todd. I can't speak today. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my Pro Controller. And, uh, yes... But I hope you are doing well today. I'm gonna get this working. Um, we're gonna just call it a uh, full stop. Full work. Stop. Not full spider. <laughs> but yes. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm taking this out. I can't do this. You're going to see it. All right. You can't see anything. Give me a sec. We're going to race 150. No teams. Normal items. Uh... Normal computers, all vehicles, smart steering is okay. Um, fixed period today is 926. We're going to go from uh, 1800 hours to 926 at 1930. Uh, we're going to go a uh, race count of eight rate of, uh, we'll do like 12 races. Um, actually, we'll keep it at, we'll keep it capped at eight. And um, we'll shuffle groups and stuff. Okay. Bang. Alright, we're back in the game. Please work. Perfect. There's the code. Alright. 3058. I'm going to put in chat. 3058 8447 2875. There's the code. And I'll pop it in the Discord as well. Um, and then we'll get going. Um, I just need to get this in here. Let's get it in. Alright, pop it in. Uh, but there you go. If you want to join, put it in there. Tournament code. Two eight seven five. There we go. So let's get into it. We can wait a couple minutes. But let's. I'm gonna join. All right. Feel free to join. Join full stop. All right, I'm going. To, I'm going as my main Metal Mario. Go Metal Mario on a. Uh, we'll go on the uh, on the comet. Um, let's go on the comet. We'll go. Uh, well, maybe where's my where's my go to? Yeah, jet bike. Jet bike's my go to. I'm going the super glider. All right. Let's wait here. We can wait a bit. Um, actually, I don't know. Is this going? This thing's gonna force me to join, isn't it? Earlier, I was playing Tomodachi Life. I haven't played in a while, but it was fun going back to it. I know, Todd. I love Tomodachi Life. is such a good game, though. 
one of my favorites. It's such a fun game, you know. Like I haven't played it in a while, but I, uh, you know, I thought I might as well, you know, play it a couple times. And it's it is a good game. It's a very good game. Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. All right, so let's get into our first segment of the day, top headlines. Uh, and of course, today we're going to be talking a lot about this Nintendo Direct. Um, oh, it's not top, it's now the latest. Same difference. You know, I watched the Nintendo Direct live, um, and I had a mixed reaction to it. I cannot tell you, you know, it was good, it was bad, like, I'm getting all sorts of reactions across the board. But let's talk about it right here, alright? So as you know, Nintendo Direct was, what, Thursday? Thursday, from 6 to 6.40. It was a 40-minute Direct, and it was jam-packed. You know, I was expecting a DLC fighter in Smash. I didn't get it, right? Which was which was odd. That was that was very odd, right? You know, but let's. There were there was a lot of jam packed announcements. First and foremost, we had uh, the Nintendo Switch Online thing, of course. Uh, you got N sixty four and Sega Genesis games, and the, and the Sega Genesis games actually surprised me a lot. I'm gonna jump into my first race here, so um. I'll get right into it. Um, I think I'm gonna go Yoshi. Um, I think Yoshi's the play. Um, now I don't know. Will this thing just stay here, or will it? Will I have to like? What? What do I do? Will it just not? Will it just not let me do anything? That would be funny. I just don't know if if it's gonna do something. Are you excited? I am excited for the new Mario Party as well. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to get it, because, like, I'm not really a Mario Party kind of guy. But I still, I think I, I'll enjoy it, like, if I would get it. It is on my radar. I, and there was some stuff there at the Direct as well. Um, I did see there was, like, a, they, they had, like, a short overview section, which was which was good. I thought that was a fan, uh, that was fine. Um, that was, that was pretty good. I, you know, it was a lot of overview. For me, you know, it was, hey, here's all the stuff that's coming out that we've already announced. And then they had like probably two or three bombshells, right? Which were crazy. All right. So first, again, Nintendo Switch Online getting Nintendo 64 games. We kind of knew it was coming. We had the leaks. We had the FCC controller patent. We knew that N64 was on the way. Or we had a good idea N64 was on the way. But... As for Gen Genesis, surprised me. I was not expecting it because we had we had just nothing, nothing, you know, even there, nothing even there, which was which was very surprising. Um, you know, what, can I? Is there some way I can like? Can I do a race with just like? Like, how do I? How do I do this? Does it have to have somebody else? I don't know how this works. Very weird. Well, that's interesting. The Animal Crossing update was interesting as well. Uh, I agree with you, Todd. I think that that was, um, that was something. I'm going to actually warm up for a bit. Um, I'm going to do like a single-player Grand Prix while I wait. But uh, if anybody does want to join, let me know. I'll join, uh, I'll join in and we can get the tournament going. Um, but I'm going to start with some 150. Overall, though, you know, Animal Crossing, I that's I was a bit upset about that, honestly. I thought that we were going get to some, get some sort of big announcement, some, some huge, like, thing that's going to be like, oh, you know, DLC or, like, Final Smash Fighter. But we did. N60, the, the Nintendo Switch Online we knew, and I think that was good. You know, we're getting some good base games, of course. The N64 is a fabulous library, in my opinion. Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Ocarina of Time, the classics, you know. So that's that's good. Um, you know, I, that was kind of a given. And that that's going to really work out, I think, in the end for Nintendo. And what was even cooler is, is they, they gave it four-player support, too, which was very nice. Like, I wasn't exactly expecting that. Oh, boy. This drift stuff is, is very bonkers. Um, oh, shoot. Why did I pick Dry Dry Desert? And why am I racing on 150cc? That is, uh, 
Not a good choice by me. I'm stuck in fourth. Steering is very weird. Uh, I'm going to throw these fireballs. Hopefully, I don't get... Uh, yeah, that's good. And, uh, and looking at the controllers, they showed some controllers, too. I know that. Like, that was... That was kind of nice. That looked pretty good. I can't complain about those controllers. Like, that was, like, pretty good quality. They're, they didn't look like Joy-Cons. They're wireless controllers. I'm happy about that. I, I was hoping we'd see something like, oh, look at this, wireless controllers, which is um, cool. That was uh, cool. I'm actually going to pause this. I'm going to get a chat pop up on my window. I would join by your not home. Oh, I see it. Uh, I'm gonna pop this out so I can read them earlier though. That's fine, that's fine, Todd, that's fine. Please, please pull up chat. Uh, and then let me know if there are any issues, right? And like, overall, next three games, I'm gonna say, and if anybody has any predictions, let me know, but like, I, I think that honestly, it's gonna be at the end of the day, oh, boy, I'm so, why am I, why am I so, I am, Horrible at this. I cannot drive here. What is going on? This is what happens when you haven't played in a while. But it looked good. The controllers looked good. Game selection looked good. Why there was no Majora's Mask was uh confused me a bit. I was not uh I was not honestly expecting to see no Majora's Mask. But that was that. I mean. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. Like, that was that was a good announcement. And then Genesis Games was an absolute surprise. The one problem, because there are always... Whenever there's something great, I feel like there always has to be a problem with it, is the fact that they're going to make it a new membership. Like, they're going to make you pay more. Hey, Landon, welcome in. How are you? Good to see you here. Like, they gave this thing... They give, they give this thing a whole... Like, they, they give a whole unveiling for it, and we know it's coming... They had to spoil it by giving me an, or forcing me to have a new membership. Amazing, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, Lynn. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Oh, I need a. Now I need a drink again. My drink's over there. What? Todd, why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, okay. Time to multitask. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the final. This is the final lap. I can take it in between. All right. I feel like I need to have like some sort of timer. That I have to hydrate within a certain time. <gasps> no! No! Oh, no. No. No! Oh, so stupid. Ludwig runs away with it. Nice, your affiliate. Yeah, I know. That, that was Pog. Oh, that's in. No! Oh, that's stupid! I'm getting my drink now. I got items again. My gosh. Yeah, that Philly got that a little bit, uh, a little while ago. A couple of months. Uh, not a couple months, a couple of weeks. Relatively. No. So, and it was interesting because I was, I was poking around trying to get, uh, get stories on this whole Nintendo Switch Online thing. Very interesting. They had, they had a slight design change on the Genesis controllers. They, they made it three button in the U.S. but six button in Japan. Very interesting. Like I, I think that's a, that was a kind of a nice touch, but it would have been it would have been cool to see the uh, the six here, you know, for like fighting games and stuff like Mortal Kombat. That would have been uh, useful, but that's okay. Uh, we also got to look at Splatoon three. Um, now, granted, I don't really care much for Splatoon to be honest. I uh, never never played one. Because I had a Wii U. Never played 2 because it was like, yeah, cool, but like, what, uh, what's, what, what, what makes it, like, it's all about for me. What, what, what makes it worthwhile? Like, I think I would love Splatoon 2, but I got in at such a late time that it was like, it didn't even matter. Everything that was good was already gone. Hey, alright, Todd, have a good night. Um, I hope to see you soon. Oh no, I can't get Drifton here. Drifton's acting, uh. Drifting's acting up for me. Drifting's acting really whack. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to do something new. Beam shell. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. <gasps> yes. I almost just kinda you know, Metal Mario. I only pick Metal I feel like Metal Mario is almost like a, a cheat code in this game. 
Like, it's like... Okay, can I, can I drift now, please? Can I drift now, please? Yes! No! I did something cool! And... Ah, stupid blue shells. So we got our look at Splatoon 3, and, uh... It's just Splatoon. I mean, like, I couldn't see anything there that really warranted me buying the game other than the fact that I've never played Splatoon before. I can't say, you know, what's in it for, uh, returning people. There seem to be some new weapons, some new stuff. Plot looks interesting. Mammals are back. I have no idea what that means, but, um, that was, uh, interesting. I don't know if it's gonna be something like that, or we, well, we're gonna find out closer to release, and I think that's where I'll judge whether or not I'm going to want this game. All right, take over. And overall, it looks good. It looks good. Splatoon's been a rock solid franchise for Nintendo. It's been very good. It's been very good, very good. Um, that was actually a good race. I'm surprised. This is 150. It doesn't feel like 150. It feels like 100. I don't know. That might just be me playing with my head. Um, we also got first ever Kirby 3D game coming out on Switch. That was nice. I. It looks good. It there. It seems like they're giving the Mario Odyssey treatment to Kirby. And this is the first... It's crazy to think Kirby's been around for 30 years now. And he's never really gotten that 3D release. Never. It's crazy to think I'm gonna... No. That's a, that stinks. I, I wasn't pressing the R stick. I usually wouldn't do that. Comeback story, comeback story. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're drifting, you're drifting. Kirby 3D. It's been 30 years since, uh, or a little over 30 since we had uh, Kirby's Dreamland come out on the Game Boy in 1989, 1990? I think it was 90. Right, I, I don't know dates. I don't know dates. I would have it written down, but I, I, don't, I didn't write it down, which stinks. Kirby's been around for 30 years. They never gave him the 3D treatment. They almost did with Kirby 64. But that was kind of like, a, uh, it's like a 2.5D. You know, it's still 3D, but it's a, it's a, it's a side-scroller. It's you're, you're looking at it from the, uh, the, the middle of the... Wow, how could I not tell that was coming? Incredible, oh, oh no, oh the, all right, that's a, that's a rip. And uh, the, some of the footage was interesting. Uh, you know, showing Kirby walking around like a, like a ruined city. Like, but the name didn't, the name didn't like care. Like it wasn't like, had anything to do with that city it was called I think the Japan discovery of the stars sorry I'm looking I'm looking at my notes discovery of the stars very odd name very odd name that wasn't something I really expect like it, it fits with a Kirby name this is this is but still very very weird uh, and I'm actually kind of glad I dodged that blue shell there too. That's uh, you can you can you, I think you can snag first. It was really weird because that has nothing. Kirby's running around in a city, right? Like a like a ruined city, nothing like there. Everything's gone, right? Okay. You name it, Discovery of the Stars. That seems out of place. What could it mean? What could it mean? That was good aim. I came in fifth. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know, the drifting's really weird. My, my, both my uh, controllers are drifting. So it's a tight race, hang in to race three. It's, it's the first mainline Kirby game since 2018, so I, it's been a while since Kirby Star Allies. Uh, that was that was interesting. Then we had the, the, the big announcement at the end. Uh, 
which was uh, Bayonet 3. And yes, I'm going to get to some of the other announcements um, in a sec. Bayonet 3 comes out. Uh, I think they said 2022. They didn't give a date. Um, now, I don't know anything about Bayonetta. I know that was, uh, I think the first one was on like PS3 or whatever. I, I don't really know much about the, the franchise, which is why I know I know a lot of people were, were hyped for it. I know it's a Switch exclusive. I, it looked good. Um, but I've never really, you know, I never really played Bayonetta. Never really got into it because, you know, why would I? I didn't really know anything uh, about video games when it really came out. I was still playing Madden on my PS3, and it was, uh, <laughs> I, it was <laughs> I didn't know anything, right, so, but, you know, it, was, it wasn't much more in gameplay, although the gameplay did look Bayonetta-like, like the rest of the series, which, to say, is, it looked really good, uh, which, which uh, was good, it looked solid, and, uh, people were very excited about it considering uh, what people were saying on social media and what whatever. Or, so it seemed. It looked good, though. And I think it's good to see people being very happy over the fact that they finally gave some gameplay. You know, even though I don't know much about the series or that, I mean, it's still good to see this many people happy over... The fact that this series is returning and that it looks really good. I think that's a very good thing. Then we had Smash Ultimate DLC. And this was, it was the same thing with Animal Crossing. But we're going to get two separate directs. One for Animal Crossing and one for Smash Ultimate. Kind of bummed out. I, I, I think that's going to be, I kind of thought after. I was like, oh, this, this, this is not good. This was not a good Nintendo Direct. Oh, we got some announcements, but, oh, there, there wasn't any big thing, but, like, I mean, I, th I think this only kind of proves the fact that this is gonna end up being the last DLC fighter, I feel like, I think it would be crazy if they were like, oh, here's Fighter Pass 3, but I think Sakurai's so burned out at this point that it's like, I mean, give the man a break, give the man a break, like, the man, the man just needs a break, the man needs a break. Now, as for predictions, well, we can make all the predictions we want. It really could be anybody at this point. Could be anybody. You know, it, I, I have no idea who it could be. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Oh no, it's the end. Darn it. We came in second. Okay, that's fine. I have no idea who it could be. Personally, my prediction is, my, my thoughts on the matter are, it's gonna, it's gonna be somebody like, uh, I'm hoping Waluigi. It's not gonna be Waluigi though. I highly doubt it. But it's gonna be presented by uh, Sakurai, of course. And I, I think that that's gonna be good. Also, was my volume on? Did I not turn on my volume? Darn it! There was just nothing there. All right, that should be better. I just kind of noticed midway through. That's not good. Twenty minutes in, never good. We went fifth first, fifth first. Okay, that is interesting. Why? Why did that happen? Oh, car, car, new car, new car, please, new, new, new car. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, ooh. a wheel. Those are some tiny wheels. What? How do you drive with that? Hot monster. The only problem is, is I actually like that. That makes acceleration and, and like handling much better. I'm gonna try it out. We might as well try it out. Let's keep going. You can, you can all still hear me, right? 
Yeah, go. Let's get back to my notes. Okay. So we got we got our silver on banana cup, but we've got we've basically golded everything else. Let's race bell cup again, maybe. Yeah, why not? And finally, we got the biggest announcement of the night, which was, of course, the announcement of the Mario movie cast. The internet collectively lost their minds when they announced this thing. I mean, this was the funniest thing. Funniest thing ever. And I've been talking about it nonstop to, like, everybody I know for, like, the last... Probably two, three days all weekend I've been talking about this thing. It's just so funny. It is so funny that they did this. So we'll go through the cast, all right? So they casted Chris Pratt as Mario, all right? Uh, Chris, Chris Pratt. Chris, Chris Pratt. Chris, Chris, Chris Pratt. Oh, my gosh. Chris, Chris, Chris Pratt, the man himself. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I find this hilarious. This is so funny. All right, it's Chris Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. Like, I don't think that nobody saw this thing coming, right? You know, Chris Pratt, of course, I'm a, most people know him from, uh, you know, either Parks and Recreation, which was on for a while on TV, or uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, he was, uh, was Star-Lord. Um, very good in that role. But honestly, I, I'm a fan. Like, I don't know though. I, I, I understand people's concerns of like, well, why couldn't you just have, uh, why, why didn't you cast an Italian actor? That's what I'm, I'm just as confused. Like, I think that like this was this either is going to be a really good decision or it's going to be a really bad decision, you know. Like it's going to be interesting to see, and I think you're going to hear my you're going to hear me say that again throughout the entire movie. You're going to hear me say that again for the entire movie. This movie is going to be very hit or miss. Um, it could be really good, it could be really bad, it could be so so. We just don't know. How are you? It's all about the plot, in my opinion, and that's what it's going to come down to. You know, as, as long as it isn't like a kitty movie, I'm fine with it. So we had Chris Pratt as Mario. Then we had uh, Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, which was also very interesting. Um, I think out of, the, out of Mario, Luigi, and Peach, I think Anya Taylor-Joy is going to be very good as Peach. Uh, if you don't know her, she's from The Queen's Gambit. She was the, the titular character. Uh, very good. I never saw it, but uh, some of my relatives did, and they loved it. Uh, I think it won, it, it won a couple Emmys, uh, so it was certainly very, very, very good, and it was, uh, it was a good decision by them. Very good decision. Good third, by the way. Good third place finish. It, Anya Taylor-Joy was very, a very good choice. Then we had Charlie Day as Luigi. That was really where things got wild. Like, it was like, okay, Chris Pratt is Mario. Okay, Chris Pratt, you see him in a lot of stuff, so it's fine. Anya Killer Joy is Peach. That was good. I think people like that. But she's still relatively, you know, new to the television scene. So I think if you, people didn't watch Queen's Gambit, they would have been like, who? But Charlie Day is Luigi. Now, personally, I haven't seen anything with Charlie Day, right? I know he was in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but I, of course I haven't watched it yet. Um, and I probably won't for a while. Very funny. Because you're wondering how... How is he going to... <laughs> it's Charlie Day as Luigi. I mean, that's like... People were... Like, I watched reactions for a while. And people were either, like, laughing their heads off. Or they were like, he's going to do actually a really good job. I don't know what to think. Again... Clean slate. I've never heard of Charlie Day. Well, I like up until that point, like, of course. Uh, I know he did. I know he's a uh, producer on Mythic Quest, which was on uh, Apple TV Plus. 
uh, about a uh, it was about I think it was about, about like a game studio, which was which was interesting. So he does have some experience with video games, and I put that in quotes because. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Why am I so far ahead? Oh god, no! Okay. Jeez, that didn't work, did it? So Charlie Day is Luigi. And that is, uh, that, that's very funny, in my opinion. Right, Char Char it's Charlie Day is Luigi. Okay. Then. The real shocker, and this is just where like I started like just burst out laughing. All right, Jack Black is Bowser. J Jack, Jack Black, the guy, the guy from from School of Rock, and who I think is Poe from Kung Fu Panda, is Bowser. <laughs> and again, that's like the funniest thing to me. Right, and the funniest thing to most people is the fact that they got Jack Black as Bowser. Very funny. Now, again, I think he could be really good, or, like, people were like, no, I don't see him as it, and then other people are like, yeah, I see him as it. Typical movie stuff. I think that he's going to be unironically good. I think he could be good. He has the potential. He has the chops for it. You know, this is, uh, for all of these Eric. For all these actors, this is new ground because this isn't live action work. This is voice acting work, and not even I don't think Chris Pratt has really uh, done that much voice acting work. Or I could be wrong, but there are some actors that do, and I'll get into that in a sec. All right. After Jack Black, they announced Keegan Michael Key as Toad, which is also very funny. Um, <laughs> it's just. Uh, where is a all I can think of is uh, that that key and peel sketch uh, where is a a Ron um, that's that's he's he's very good in key and peel from like the two videos I've seen but it's going to be very weird seeing him as toad like voicing toad like toad's voice is very screechy like it's like very high pitched really just destroys your voice how are you going to do that day in and day out? How are you going to get up to that pitch? Those are my questions. But they're not very much concerns because these are actors and they know what they're doing. It's not like these are just a bunch of randos who they just pulled in and said, Hey, how about you? You're, you're great for Mario. And not only that, you know, you got... It's, it's an A-list. It's, it's star-studded. It is. This is as really as good as it's going to get, you know, with actors. And I think just... It was it was a roller coaster of emotions. Like it was like nobody was seeing this thing coming. Nobody did. That's why it was just such a shocker. It was like Chris Pratt and then Anya Taylor Joy. But then to get Charlie Day, Jack Black, and Keegan Michael Key all in the same movie, it's just shocking. Did that actually work? Wait, hold up. What, what happened? Where'd it go? Weird. And then, finally, they announced Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Which is, um... <laughs> that's gonna be funny, seeing Seth Rogen playing a literal ape in Donkey Kong. Like, that's going to be interesting. But, um... Again, seeing that all these actors are comedians, it, even Chris, like... You know, all these actors are comedians. I don't doubt that this is going to be a funny movie. The worry I have is, is you got to do it right. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that they have Shigeru Miyamoto on the case as a producer. Because you're going to need him there. Right? Just to prove, say, hey, this is this is not like just like a, a mindless adaptation. This is a serious film. And that, I find that even funnier. That they're taking it like to this extreme. So after Seth, just they they uh, they had Seth Rogen. They they brought in they brought in um, let me look at my list again. They brought in Charles Martinet, um, which was kind of sad actually. You know, this is the guy who's been doing Mario voice work for years upon years, twenty five years at this point. Well, twenty six because he did uh, 
whatever he, uh, that Mario PC thing. But that's besides the point. I mean, he was doing. He's been doing this stuff for twenty five years, and they give him in like, give him like a special cameo role. Like it, it just seems like it's a slap in the face to a guy who's done so much work at Nintendo. And then when he go when they go to make a movie about it, they they give him a cameo role, but they put Chris Pratt as the lead. Like it just it seems sort of wrong. And I agree with that. What people have been saying, they're like, it's wrong. I agree. It's it's wrong. But I still think that this could be good. Like, you can't judge a book by its cover. There obviously had to be some reason. Shigeru Miyamoto, because he's a producer, had to be in on this. It, right? So he had to see something in Chris Pratt. And that gives me hope. After Charles Martinet, they, uh, they provide a, a three portrait. Um, so you had um, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek. Um, if you don't know him, uh, he's Cleveland from Family Guy. Which is uh, I I don't watch Family Guy either, but that's what I was just when I was researching it. That's what I uh, that's what I found. Uh, he was in some other good movies too, I think. But I I um, of course I can't necessarily you know I don't remember because uh, I didn't really write this stuff down. This is all from memory. Uh, then we had Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong, which again very funny. Uh, he was on SNL for the longest time. Like, I think he was on from, like, 01 to 15. Very funny actor, I think, if he was on SNL. But, um, I've never... I didn't really watch SNL from that era. I've kind of gone before, kind of gone after. Never, never in that in-between period. That's fine, though. And, uh, finally, we had, uh, Sebastian... I think this... I'm pronouncing this right, but, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco uh, as Spike. Um, and I'm not sure what he was in. He was probably in something. Uh, but this leaves the question, okay, A, all right, what's Spike doing here? Are they going to recount the entire story of Mario? Because Spike, if you, Spike was Mario's boss in the game Wrecking Crew, which uh, was a game 1985, I think, or uh, somewhere around there on the NES. Pretty good game. You basically just, destroy stuff uh, with a hammer. So that's all it is. You know, it's an NES game, early NES game. What, you're, what, what do you expect? And that's where Spike's from. So you get the picture. But this leaves the crucial question. We got no Wario announcement. We got no Waluigi announcement. Where are they? That's the big question. Did I just... Okay, I could try that twice. This might be good. This might be good! Yeah! We had no Wario announcement. No Waluigi announcement. You know, what about all the other enemies? Why do you announce Kamek? What about Goombas? What about Koopas? What about Lakitu? What about... Blo not Bloopers would be cursed. Uh, and, um, whatever, um, uh, the, the fish, the fish, um, I forget the fish's names. <laughs> what about them? Where, where are they going to be? Are they going to be here? Are they not going to be here? What's the deal? Are they, are they going to be here? I don't know, but that is the question. You know, are they going to be there or not? So that's what we're going to see. And finally, of course, we got the release date, which was holiday of 2022. So about a year from now. It's a little ways away. It's being done by Illumination, which uh, made Despicable Me and stuff. Which was fine, I guess. It's Despicable Me. Why don't we do a couple battle battles? We'll do a couple battles here while we're at it. We'll do, uh, we'll do a battle thing. So, it's Illumination. If you don't know, they're, they've done Despicable Me. They've done other things. They've done Sing. I know that. But that's like the only big stuff they've done. This almost seems like, in my opinion, a watershed moment for video game movies. Yes, you have the Sonic movie, and you have Resident Evil, and you have all this stuff. But at the end of the day... When did this ad run? Did I did I have an ad run? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, that's not good. Yikes. Well, sorry about that. Um, 
I have to keep I have to keep my ad timer here too. Can I cheat? What's that? Can I pop out the ad? I can. There, I can look at my ads and I can look at this stuff. Perfect. All right. Hold, please. Uh, hold, please. I'm just putting up chat. I'm putting up this. Perfect. Then I'll put you over here. Then I'll put you over here. There we go. We're good. So we're gonna. So I I think that this is a watershed moment for gaming movies. This is the breakthrough moment because there's a contrast between the actors in the Sonic movie and the actors in the Mario movie, and that could just come down to money. But at the end of the day, the people have to want to do it, and I think that this is big. That all these huge A-list actors wanted to do this wanted to be acting, doing voice acting for this movie. So the fact that you saw this many good actors sign up for this movie is pretty big. That is a watershed moment in the industry for this. Watershed moment. And I think that this movie could be good, could be bad. I think it's gonna end up probably being on the worst side, especially because you have Chris Pratt as the lead. I think that that worries me, or it doesn't really worry me. It just seems like an interesting choice. Oh shoot, Shine Thief. Where's the Shine? There's the Shine. Oh my gosh, there are so many people here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear them. I didn't get a single one. And there have been so many memes as well, looking, Across the internet in the past couple days. It just, people have gone nuts for this. There have been TikToks about this stuff, which have been going for thousands upon thousands of views. Now, I don't really use TikTok, but still, that is, that is nothing to laugh at. Having, you know, 700,000 views is, is pretty big. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Use your drift. Get him. Get him, Lee, uh, Mario. 7,000 is nothing to scoff at. That is a very, very, very big, you know. It's a watershed moment, frankly. I did not hit Dry Bowser at all with those. I had, like, an open shot at him. Okay, okay, okay. Swim from the side. Go. What? What is this? Get him, Mario! Yeah! We have it! Hit Waluigi. Yes! Waluigi's down. No. Are you serious? Now King Boo gets it, of course. Oh. Oh, Rosalina. Yes. Go, Rosalina. Go, Rosalina. I'm a, I, oh. 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 Yeah. So, this is going to be either very good or very much a flop. It could be either or. It could be either or. I have no idea. We just don't know. We have so much time. My main sticking point, and this is the final thing I'll say on the matter. How do you get plot, alright? The plot for these, for most Mario games, is pretty basic. Bowser kidna kidnaps Peach. Mario has to go rescue her. End of story. Very linear. And that works well for video games. But movies aren't video games. How are you going to make the jump? That is my concern. How are you going to make that jump? All right, between between game and movie. That's an important that's an important distinction. Very very important distinction. 
One coin, my coin, my coin. Give me that. Where's my coin? Good. This is either going to be a very good movie or very much a flop. I don't know at this point, but it's in shoot. Yikes. It's encouraging to see the amount of star power that signed up for this. You know, between Jack Black, Chris Pratt, all these star actors. Makes me very hopeful for the success of this movie. But at the end of the day, games are not movies. Movies are not games. It's very tough bridging the gap between the two, as we saw with the other Mario movie, which we don't talk about, from 1993. Which was, let's face it, it was, um... People did not like that movie. So, how then? How do you manage the gap? Well, that's the big question. Quite literally, the billion dollar question, right? How are you going to manage the gap? That's a very big question. And we just don't know at this point. We do not know. We don't know. We do not know at this point how this is going to be. This is not good. I am, at the end of the day, though, very hopeful, very, very hopeful that this may be something good or even great. But the way things have gone and what we've seen does make me a little shaky, a little nervous. You know that something like this might not. Be the best. At the end of the day, though, we can only hope. We can only, we can only watch. We can only wait for more signs. That something is going to happen. And for that, I am waiting. And I will continue to wait. But it's very interesting at the end of the day. I'm coming for you. So that wraps up our segment, our first segment of the day. I'm honestly forget. I'm blanking on what it's called for some reason. Um, that wraps up what we have there. Now the latest. Yes, that wraps up now the latest. That that is your news. Wow, this is laggy. Jeez. But that does wrap up now the latest. Let's move on to our next segment. All right, on this day. Let's see. We got, so on this day today, as you may have heard me hint, today is indeed the 25th anniversary of Super Mario 64, which is kind of crazy. Actually, you know, we'll leave that to the end. All right, let's, let's take a look at what we'll lose tomorrow, because this is what I have the most of, all right? So in 1997, on September 25th, we had Mega Man X4 released on the PlayStation. Alright, of course, it's the, the fourth game in the Mega Man X, some series of the Mega Man games. And of course, it's it's a tough game. I mean, it's on PlayStation. It definitely, you know, it's more difficult when you look at reviews. They all say they're really more difficult than, than the other games in the Mega Man X series. Which, which you know, for, for an already tough series that does make it a little more interesting, you know? Makes it makes it a lot more interesting. We also had in 2007, of course, one of one of the greatest games ever made, one of the greatest shooters ever made. Halo 3, which was a very good game on the Xbox 360 and exclusive, uh, of course by Microsoft. Very good game. Critics loved it. Of course, as I can you know if you look on Metacritic, which by the way, I'm still working on that project. Currently has a 94 and a user score, ouch. A user score of, I think it was an 8.6 or an 8 point, an 8.1. So not really the, you know, in incredible game it was, but it certainly was a genre defining game for the year. For the era of gaming as a whole, you know, shooters were really still trying to trying to 
find a direction. It was, of course, 2007. You know, so you weren't looking at, like, a Fortnite type of game or, or a Valorant or a Battle Royale style shooter. It was really Call of Duty and Halo. That was really it. And there were certainly other Star Wars Battlefront comes to mind for me. But overall, that was certainly, you know, Halo was a very big series. Certainly, it's gone a bit downhill. I feel like I think, like, the Master Chief Collection's been really dick with reviews. But other than that, it was, it was overall very solid. Now, I never played a Halo game as well. I never did. I had a PlayStation 3. That was my first console, really. Of course, I had a PS2. You know, but we got rid of that when I was young. You know, I had a Wii. I still have the Wii, of course. Have the PS. But it was really PS3 that, that kick-started my interest in gaming. Now, I won't get on another tangent about, you know, what I start out with in my journey through gaming. But I will say that PlayStation 3 was where I started, and that didn't have Halo, because it was an Xbox exclusive. But, I mean, the sales figures were, were nuts. You know, it sold $170 million, according to Variety, on its launch day, which is absolutely bonkers. They just poured so much money into it. It was, it, it was, it was very crazy how much money they poured into it. They, they, they really did. They, they put a ton of money into it. Just to get it out to people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheese Bowser. Oh no! I don't have any more bubble. Get out of here. I can't even throw stuff back at this point. That's stupid. Stop ganging up on me! Stop it! I'll have to see who play. On 2015, alright, in 2015, on this day yesterday, we had NBA 2K15 release on the Xbox, or sorry, PlayStation 4. Alright, I have, I do not have a copy. I don't really play 2K anymore. Used to. All the, all the money stuff, I mean, it, it, it didn't really, like, those games, 2K15 was really when 2K, you could say, was at its height. That was when 2K was still a very, very good game. You know, 2K13, 2K14, those were all considered some of the best around. And that was, that's that's really that. I mean, I don't have much more to say about 2K. There isn't much more. Because 2K sports games are kind of meh for me. You know, 2K has by far, as of late, been the best. But that's not really saying much considering how mediocre EA and, you know, even a bit of the show, you know, the show's gone better too, but there's just, and again, I won't, I won't talk about this stuff here. Maybe, maybe in a video, maybe in a, where did, oh, Link, that's, that is, that is, that is, why, what, the, CPUs don't act like this. That's garbage. Get over here, Link. I'm not, I'm not gonna go for you. I'm not gonna go get my Link. No. Too dangerous. Too risky. Alright. But I can get Waluigi. Get over here, Waluigi. Aw, oh, that should have hit. Why didn't that go? Boom. Nice. Four balloons. Four balloons. Then, 2019, of course, we had Mario Kart Tour. Which is kind of why I was playing Mario Kart. Because... Mario Kart Tour, and uh, I never played it. It was released on Android at the time, and I never, I mean, it's been two years, which is kind of crazy. I remember when it dropped, I was playing Madden, Madden Mobile, Madden Mobile, <laughs> Madden Overdrive. Like, it wasn't like a really good game. Like, it was <laughs> Madden Overdrive. I won't talk about it either. That's just, it just looked. Not a very good game. Let's finish this off with Urchin Underpants. And of course, on this day today, 25 years ago, Mario Kart 64, arguably one of the most influential, or not, actually, never mind, that's going to be my question. But in my opinion, 
a very good platformer. One of the first great 2D platformers. Came out on the N64. You know, N64 fledgling console, Nintendo coming right off the heels of, of the SNES with Super Mario World coming out five years prior. But they had worked on this for some time. Definitely a lot of stuff like with stuff, you know, like I guess what I'm trying to say is a lot about the, the pre-release, you know, you're coming off the heels of the SNES, a very good console. How are you going to top that? And so they come out with the N64. The problem was, is it, it, that just got so outclassed by the PlayStation. And I have a couple PlayStation games. I got Madden 99 and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. But at the end of the day, it's still like... N64 is totally outclassed. But it's glad to see them bring it to Switch Online. I'm getting way off topic though, aren't I? Mario 64 comes out, and it is, I mean, again, most people call it one of the greatest games ever made. I, I, I am not one, you know, it certainly was a very good game. Stop it! Stop it! But it was one of the, the, uh, you know, one of the, the greats, one of the greats influential platformers out there. And it was very good. It was very good. Honestly. Yeah. So now it's time. Alright. Actually, I'm going to wait until the end of this race to do our next segment. I'm going to focus on this. But, it, you know, I never had... You know, I've always wanted a Nintendo 64. It's a shame because of how, how expensive games from the N64 and the Nintendo GameCube are. I've always wanted GameCube games. GameCube games are what I want the most. Oh! Oh, that's insane! Oh, darn it. Okay, listen, that was insane. That was sick! That bounce play! Wow! Okay, I was not expecting that. But the Nintendo 64... What are the odds of that? You know, I've always won one. Prices have gone so expensive. I don't know if anybody heard about that. That really, really high selling copy of Sonic. It was like a lot of money. Again, I if you want to learn more about that, I, I highly suggest. Well, there's a video by the YouTuber Carl Jobes. Uh, it was a great piece of investigative. You know, they were investigating stuff. And it was very good, you know, so I suggest it was about talking about, you know, how, how much fraud there is with this stuff, or possible fraud, but anyways, let's get into this, alright, our next segment, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go and do a, can I do a poll? Yeah, I can, alright, we're, we're, we're doing our definitive full stop for today. Definitive full stop. This is our definitive full stop today. All right, I'm gonna type it out for you. All right. Definitive full stop is Super Mario 64 the greatest 3D platformer ever made. No, yes or no. And I'm going to put the timer at five minutes. You're going to have five minutes to answer this poll, folks. All right? Give us some time for this definitive full stop. We'll let it go. All right? Personally, for me, I'll wait for a vote. For me, I'm gonna go with, you know, I think the greatest, you know, Mario 64 is, is definitely great, but I would go with another platformer, Galaxy 2. For a platformer, in my opinion, it has, like, it has to be smooth, and 
yes, Mario 64 is very good, but it was still, you know, it's up there, don't get me wrong, but you just, there was just something about other platformers closer in time. There's kind of a curve, in my opinion, this is what I'll get into. I'm going to talk a bit about some of the research I've done. You know, I'm going to pull it up right now. Um, my, my video game statistical analysis. Okay. Now, this is not a definitive list. Right? I still have a lot of games that I haven't done yet. But there have been some great, great platformers out there. You know, looking at 2001. Like, it's like... I mean, you had Sunshine. Mario Sunshine was good. You know... You had... What else? Where are all my action platformers? Alright, Psychonauts was pretty good. You know, but again, I wouldn't call that the greatest. Super Mario Galaxy. I would say Mario Galaxy is the greatest platformer ever made. Honestly. I think that's what takes the cake. For me, because... It's just, it's, it's so good. You know, Mario, Mario Galaxy is, is much better in my opinion. I just think that that is, uh, that is what I believe is true. All right. We're going to go, we're going to do another race. Um, what do we got? Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll do Ed Cup. We'll do Ed Cup. Uh, we got a half an hour until the end of this. Um, and then from there, we'll probably uh, end the stream. I only have till full stock because I didn't have anything else I wanted to talk about. But I'll start talking about it now. I think for the rest of this time, I'm going to talk a bit about my research in and with video games. I've been watching a lot of videos as of late talking a bit about you know, what, what, when was the golden age of video games? Have video games fallen? Questions like that. And they've made me think a lot. You know? But it's so tough. Because everybody has an opinion. Right? You know? So it's very tough. It's always going to be stuff like this is subjective. It's a very... It's, of course, it's going to be subjective. It's, like, whenever you ask somebody what is the best, there it. it it's all opinions. It's based upon what people think. So it's, it is, it is very, it's, it's basically impossible. How do you get around? Well, the way I've done it is I have created something that I think is going to be the most objective or non-opinionated way. So this is going to have as little opinion as it can from me. You know, it'll have, it's based upon review scores, of course, but... This is as good as it's going to get from me. And I call it my video game statistical analysis, and then sometime in the near future, I will publish a video on it. You know, I want to I wanna document it. But so far, I've tracked games. The way I've done it is this, okay? So essentially, my question is, we're trying to solve the problem of how do we figure out what the greatest era was based on, like, reviews without really like making it equal without making it unequal all right so it's got to be good the way i did it was i i had the top 20 from each year starting in 1997 now you might say sports and speedruns why don't you start from 1985 when super mario brothers was released and the nes well the problem is is there just isn't enough data even in 1996, when Super Mario 64 was out, you only had about 20 games that were out on Metacritic, and half of those were, were PC games. And I didn't want to have PC games. I wanted to have just console games. And that's what I'm doing. That is, that is my first set. In the end of, at the end of the day, I'm going to have four different things of data, okay? I call, or they're called data sets, and they're basically exactly what they sound, sets of data. Now, the way I'm doing it is, the set I'm working on right now is only console games and physical releases of console games. The second one is going to be physical and digital releases of console games. Home console games, by the way. This is not, we're not talking about portables yet, right? 
So it's home consoles with no downloads, home consoles with downloads, all consoles, and all consoles plus PC. Those are my four. Okay. And the reason why I want to do four is because I want to get different pictures. What is going on? How do I, you know, okay, what is, what is going on, you know, in the portable world? Or what's, it's going to give me different pictures, okay? And now, again, you always have the question of, okay, well, you might be biased for a game. The way we're leveling it out is, because you still don't have enough data in, say, 1998, the way we're doing it is like this. I'm going to pick the top 20 games from each year based upon review score, not on user score, but solely review score. I know it seems a little weird, but I can't sort it by review score on Metacritic for some odd reason. We're sorting it by review score. And from there, what we're doing is we are going and we're picking out those top 20 games. And I am putting them in a chart. And then we're going to average out the score. So we're going to basically divide, or you know how averages work on the Steam Hunt home. But we're basically averaging out each score. What's the average score for each year? That's how I'm going to calculate if we're in decline. And I already have. I've already gone pretty far on it. But that's what I've done so far. Right? That's kind of the method. Right? And in addition to that, there are a couple things I'm keeping track of. Because at the end of the day, I do want to figure out, okay, why? What, what, like, what type of game is there? Okay? That's a pretty big thing. I want to know what games were the ones that shaped each year. And so I started that in about 2005, and I've uh, moved it back. You know, I have to apply it, so I'm going to have to look again. So we have that, and then we also have the publisher. So who made it? And that's, a good, again, also very important because I want to see who made these games. Did somebody fall out of the top 20, like, say, EA? Or did they stay in with different games? So that's what I'm working on. So now that you have an idea of how I'm going to do it, let's talk about the what, the data, all right? Now, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of statistics, so instead I'm going to bore you with a bunch of statistics. Lol. That was a horrible joke on my part. Ignore that. But it's there's a lot of data. I've made a bunch of stuff, okay? But there is a lot of stuff. So we started in 1998, right? And what what my thought was, so my hypothesis, right? My, my idea of, oh, my prediction. My prediction was, I think you're going to see a peak. You're going to see it at its highest in 0104. You're going to see it drop off starting in 05. And then it's going to be really low by 2013, or by, by this year. Very interesting. The highest score we recorded for the top 20 games on average was a 92.75 out of 100 which is really good. A lot better than I was expecting. You know. And that came in 2002. Or sorry, 2001. Which was as expected. Remember, the games that came out that year. You had games like Luigi's Mansion, which was not included. Um, a lot of PS2 games. Like most of, like that was surprising. It was like, no, there was like, stuff like Luigi's Mansion didn't even make the list, which was crazy. Like it was like, right now, Sony, Okay, Sony consoles have made up, or it's 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 really nuts. Half of your so half of your top twenty games so far have been made on Sony consoles. It's really weird. Like Nintendo only has twenty percent, only one in five games, and then Xbox has the other, of course. So it was very weird seeing that. But I'm still getting a bit off topic, and I am. Talking a lot. So now you have an idea of like what's going on. So 2001 is your highest score. And it goes down a bit 
in 2002 and 2003, goes back up in 2004, and then it falls apart. Hey, Dennis, welcome in. You know what, actually, after this, I might switch over and do some Grand Prix races. But hello, Dennis, how are you? Sorry I couldn't join at a restaurant. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, you're good, Dennis. If you're at a restaurant, that's okay. I am at home eating pizza, so that's fine. You're good, you're good. We can schedule it uh, another time, that's good. What are you eating, by the way? What did you get? I'm, I'm curious. What food? Things and different kinds of pies. I actually am not a pie guy. I've never really had a pie. I'm assuming you had a pie. Actually, you're on mobile, so you won't hear this for a while. But anyways. Yeah, I was just talking about all this data that I've been doing. This, so this data, it, fa it falls apart. So right now, the average, right, for 2015, or sorry, 2014, which is the last year I've done, has fallen to, to, to an average score of 86. You got chicken pot pie. Ooh, chicken pot pies are good. Chicken pot pies are actually pretty good. I'm a fan of chicken pot pies, so. I, uh, I've only, I feel like I've only had them a couple times, but when I have had them, they're, they're pretty good. Sorry, when you, when you said pies, I thought like blueberry pie. I was like, huh? Do you, do you go to like a bakery? Like Panera Bread? I don't know if they sell pies. It's the only good pie. Oh, okay. I see. I am, I have Domino's Pizza right now. Domino's Pan Pizza. I do have to, I have to finish it though. I should probably, you know, I'll eat it after the stream. I got time. Show me your moves! <laughs> Show me your moves. Check it, Shepherd's Pies. Yeah, I've never really, like, I've never really, like, I, I don't think I've ever had a Shepherd's Pie. I know, like, I've seen Shepherd's Pie, but never, I don't think I've had Shepherd's Pie. But, uh, I think those are good, too. Yeah. No! No, Blue Shell! Ah! Pink Gold Peach. Okay. Shalom. No, no. That's just so dumb. Get over here. I missed the shell. I missed the stupid shell. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a tight race. Tight race. I I looked away. Okay, give me your boost, Morton. Come on. Come on. Come on. No shenanigans. Show me your moves. Moves have been shown. Good job, Mario. So, right now we've dropped, and again, I'm going to do some more work on this after, I guess, but it's very interesting. You'll probably see a full video on it soon once I'm done with all the stuff and I do things, so it's going to be a big video. But I just want to do it because I want to sort of give people more of, like, an objective picture and not have people blinded by nostalgia and have their opinions shifted because of that. Okay, I'm switching over to the tournament. I'll throw it in. Actually, yeah, check the Discord. It's in the Discord. I threw it in the, the Discord. Um, but the code should be there. I know there shouldn't be any races, right? I, oh, no, you couldn't because you're at a restaurant, Dennis. That's right. Why didn't I put two and two together? All right. Last race. Uh, oh, did, did the poll end? The poll did end. I got carried away. View results. Why is it kicking me off to a new tab? Nobody won. Yay. Cool. Okay. Well now we need to, well now we need to change the banner again. This is not definitive full stop anymore. This is drum roll. Game talk. I think that's just gonna be my thing for now. So I, if I'm talking about something random, I'm just calling it game. I'm I'm calling it game talk. I load. Nice. Did more ads run? Am I, am I just hallucinating? Did an ad run like five minutes ago? I don't know. Alright, let's do one more Grand Prix. Yeah, I don't know. That, this stuff is so funny. It went like a whole half an hour tangent about the Mario movie again. I just, I can't get over this. It is 
the funniest thing I have ever seen. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Yeah, okay, turn the code. For anybody else. But not Dennis, because he's in a restaurant. Eating chicken pot pie. Uh, yes, I went on an hour, or a half an hour tangent about, uh... It was about the Mario movie. I don't know. I find it so funny that they, they picked out these actors. It just was, it was just hilarious. Coin. What is he doing? Oh! Hello. Drift. Drift. Go. Okay. Oh! Well, well, I, I tripped off the side! What is that? Oh, hello, people. Hello, Scary King, and hello, 4566. Six. Good. And thank you for the follow, 4566. Six. Good. Much appreciated. And Gun F9? What the heck? Huh? Oh, no. Uh, okay, I'm turning off follow alerts. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, showing off bot. No, thank you. Yeah, no thanks. All bots, yeah, I know. I can tell. That's fine, I'll figure it out after. Play cool. Oh, nice trick. Okay, that is cool. No. That stuff's all messed up. Nice! Good finish. Good finish. Slowly pop out. Slowly pop out. Okay, I should be back in the chat room. If I didn't hear anybody, I'm sorry. Um, imagine being a follow bot. Yeah. Couldn't be me, yeah. Funny. Oh, dog, dog, dog. Oh, somebody's home. Okay. Uh, yeah. Last couple of races here, and then uh, then we're we're uh, we're wrapping up. To be fair, though, oh no, my driving is not that good. Okay, here we go. But hello, people, how are you? I know, I saw... I saw some of you say hi before uh, before follow bots, but um, I'll resolve that later. What's up? Hello, hello Mario. Chris Pratt is Mario. 
What has this world come to? What is this timeline? This timeline is, uh, getting funny. This is, I, I know, I posted something. I was like, this is the best timeline. No, blue shell. Why is my, my bit rates going nuts? Party course two was when? Maybe. I think that would actually be. Hmm. That would be an interesting. That would be an interesting segment to have here. Like have like some sort of tier list that like I can do. That would be cool. That worked. Hey, that worked. Cool. Freeman is what? I want to see Danny DeVito as Wario, or like Wal Waluigi. I I, I just want to see Danny DeVito in this movie. That I think that would put the cherry on top, or like, like I don't know what other like, hmm, what other, or like <laughs> Adam Adam Sandler is Koopa. Adam Sandler as Waluigi would be funny. But Chris, Chris Pratt, that was a funny, that was, that was funny. I can't, cheese, cheese it here. Cheese it. Good. Uh, baby Louis, Luigi. All right. Bye. Oh! Off the wall! Wow. Oh. You're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay, Seth Rogen. Sorry. I, I, I impulsively said that because uh, I was thinking of the cast. <laughs> Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. That's gonna be funny. What voice lines is he gonna have, or is it just gonna all be like, I don't know, like, what, what, what? How is this going to be fully voice acted? I don't understand this. It baffles me. It is, it is, a, it is very interesting. Why? Like, the fact that you're going so far away from like anything else is kind of whack. Why'd I do that? I had no need for that. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, you think you can bump me, baby Luigi? Watch this. I didn't even, I am now in car, so you must leave. Okay, bye, Danish. Have a, wait a minute. Don't you have, uh, never mind. I almost, I, I said, whatever. All right, have a good night, Danish. See you soon. Actually, yeah. I am a little tired, I will say, by the end of these. Once I go off script, adios. Yes, adios. I feel like once I go off script, I get just so tired, you know. Oh, yes. Wow, this thing got laggy. Okay. Is that it? Oh, we got one more race. All right, final race of the night. We've been racing all night, but sadly, I think this is gonna be it. I am certainly pretty tired. Wow, that, that is so laggy. Why is this so laggy? I don't, this is what happened. Oh, what, what court? Toe Turnpike? Is this Toe Turnpike? No, it can't be. It's whatever, it's a highway one, but I don't think it's Toad's Turnpike. I might be wrong. Toad's Turnpike on N64 has some banging music though. Its music is so good. Now I'm stuck in a wall. Shoot. I cannot time this right. 
That's, that's whack. Okay. Oh. Oh. Get over here. It's an intense battle. It's like third, third what? Third what? Second? What? Okay, that was only lap one. What the heck? Why am I, why am I, what? I cannot time this right. Eyes, eyes. Sorry, I'm disturbing traffic. This is very risky driving. Do not try us at home. This is not how you drive. Toad services. Oh, ram. Red, red jump, red jump. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, first. There it is. Oh, clip. No, not, not, don't clip it on Twitch, but I was saying, like, barrier clip. Okay, all right. We're, we're entering lap number three. I did not boost off that. I wasn't paying attention. Weird. Uh, how are people doing? I hope you're all doing well. I know I am. This is fun. I haven't done a full stop in a while. This is like, I haven't done it in like three weeks. Or two weeks or whenever. But I want to do it today. You know, because I work on a, uh, I'll post this on YouTube soon after. And, um, yeah. gonna be good i think we're gonna finish off this in first a very narrow first over what looks to be baby luigi but i can't yeah baby luigi look at that we went four in a row in first i will take it okay i will take it but folks that's going to do it. It is currently 7.30 on the east coast of the United States. And we're going to wrap it up right here. Okay, folks. Thank you all for uh, thank you all for coming here. Coming out. Showing me some support. I know we had some follow bots, but that is... Uh, you know, that's good to see folks here. All right. Have a great night. All right, I'm gonna ending. Oh, not the ending. Sorry. Nice. That's a cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. All right. Go have a good night, folks. Nice big thing. Is it working? Is the media source playing? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Well, have a good night, folks. Uh, I hope to see you all soon. And, uh, yeah, have a good night.